Hello everybody, Nachifast here, back with new Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines videos. Today we're going to continue with the main quest, gonna finally go to the mansion that we talked about, about the Malkavian dude. So, yeah. I don't think there's anything here that we can do right now, so I'm gonna do this first and then come back here and see about some side quests. So hello there, taxi driver. Change my scene. So it's Grout's mansion, okay. I was wondering if this is the mansion where um, Pisha said that they have these um, thingies. I don't remember the right word. Um, you. The artifacts. What are you doing here? Oh, it's nice. Hmm. He of the number name. No. No. What do you mean no? Your words are a little wobbly. You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Uh, pardon me. What secrets within those walls? You're in for it now. Oh, don't tell me it's another haunted mansion. No, Nines. Nines. Nines, open the door. Nines, this is not, this isn't funny anymore. <laughs> oh god. No, don't, don't, please don't say it's a new horror part. Well, I suppose... I have to go in. I'm so uncomfortable with this. And obviously it's going to be a fighting area because it's outside here. Yep. You just entered Grout's mansion and something about it doesn't feel quite right. No shit, Sherlock. It is quite peculiar, the happenings I've been made to witness for my supernatural longevity. I am thinking of one unfortunate phenomenon in particular, of unique interest to my station, both as a professional and as a sufferer of this vampiric condition. Oh. It seems the stream of time has begun to erode the moorings of my chosen course of study, for the methodologies that gave birth to psychology are slowly disappearing. I find myself in an era that overlooks the physical component of psychological pathology time and again in favor of the sophistic practices of Freud. Phrenology, dactopintalism, and the rest of the old god has fallen by the wayside, its champions all silenced in death, with my unique exception. Would that I could make my voice heard again, although it may be suspicious should I return to popular medical discourse fifty years after my apparent death. Yeah. No, better that I continue my studies into the psychoses in secret. One day, may I hold up my own cure as validation of the methods. I am confident no cure for my condition or that of my beloved wife lies within our figurative minds waiting to be unlocked by the correct combination of memories recovered from our childhoods. And I'm most certain it has nothing to do with the relationship between myself, my parents, and my genitals. Sorry, Sigmund, but I choose to stay my course. Oh, I used blood buff accidentally. May your star fade and disappear. Okay. Fascinating. Don't know why I know that now. Oh, no. <laughs> I have no recollection of this place. Like, I remember some of the places <laughs> in the game, but I don't even remember this at all. Well, that's a door. Die. I'm gonna bedlam you. I'm gonna do it. Or I'm gonna feed upon you. Yep. Oh, God. Okay. What's that? Unknown item. What does it look like? It looks like a um. All right, research. Wait, but but my research is like. Oh, there we go. Now I have it. Wicked book thistle. This petrified reed was not meant to fall into the hands of the damned, but vampires can benefit from its shamanistic magic all the same. Increases defense by one point. Oh! So it increased my defense. Okay, that's fine. That's pretty cool. What are you? Perception at one shapes, of, shapes the mind and rules over time. 
Time, however, erodes human perception and then it was it in turn warps the mind. The mind is capricious, having various effects on perception, time and the mind itself, with how many progress is made. What? Another unfortunate casualty to tide of time, insane asylums. I lament their loss, not only as brokerage houses for the breadth and depth of human psychosis, but also I shall mourn the disappearance of that peculiar environment present only in an insane asylum. That palpable atmosphere of blistered brains and churning bowels, the odiferous melange of freely flowing bodily humors, that gently rolling cacophony of distant sobs and screams, the muttered cursing at perceived enemies, and the blissful gurgling of the lobotomized, like a newborn babe discovering the sky. Hmm. Ah, I shall still find test subjects as surely as I find bloody sustenance in the night, but this climate, I fear, may never be replicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, this is perception. This is mind. And this is harmony. Perception is one shapes the mind. Rules of time. Time erodes human perception and then it in turn warps the mind. There you go. Okay, so I just increased it a few times and then decreased it. That works. I saw Grouse Ritual. Now it says, um, I just entered Grouse Mansion and something about it doesn't feel quite right. Okay, well. Doesn't this thing open? I guess not. Do I have to kill them all? I do. Or maybe if I just use this lever here. There we go. It's up there. That works for me. I'm not gonna bother killing these guys if I don't have to. I don't wanna anger the person who owns the actual house. Whew. Often I reflect with great regret on the missed opportunity that was my infector. Had I been conscious after the attack, I could have stopped the orderlies from locking her in the roaming pen. What I would give for just one interview, a few simple questions of the plague-ridden woman who met her end. You mean an in interview with a vampire? Of course, you know the movie? There's no guarantee she would have been any more helpful than my current crop of test subjects, mewling wretches. Few could be called enthusiastic. Given the nature of the tests, I cannot expect the same fervor from all, but a modicum of cooperation would be appreciated animals. The one called John went so far as to gnaw off his arm and escape into the floorboards like some feral rodent. I still hear him scurrying about at night and making making an atrocious mess in there. Oh, oh. <laughs> what the hell was that? Hey, let me do it again. Let me do it again. Let me do it again. Let me jump, let me jump from you again. No, let me do it, it was fun. <laughs> I'm just I'm just assaulting a poor human being who has been like modified. Sorry about that, that was fun. Let's do it again sometime. My studies proceed at a languid pace. I'm mired in a foul ennui as my wife's illness advances. My subjects grow restless without proper supervision, but I cannot pull myself back from this black depression. How many nights I've wasted now, gazing from the tower walk, pondering the frailty of existence. There are a lot of different boss battles, even for side quests, which um, like have harder enemies, which work in um, different ways, which I really appreciate, because some games just like, um, they forget that every quest has to be good. Like, if, if your quest isn't good, then don't add it to the game. In my opinion, it's better better to have few good quests than a bunch like a shitload of bad and boring and rep repetitive quests. That's just me, though. I don't know. Some people might like him um, repeating shit. 
They're also known as MMORPG gamers. Final room. After decades of solitary study into this affliction, I have learned that it is by no means mine alone. Indeed, the city is home to an entire society of similarly afflicted individuals with whom I've only recently made contact. They are an understandably standoffish sort, by and large, but I have been able to confirm with them that the condition is indeed vampirism, which apparently comes in a multitude of strains, each with a spectacular set of symptoms such as invisibility and even a sort of lycanthropy. Oh. Through numerous official interactions with the governing body of this secret society, I have concluded that their fundamental understanding of the vampiric condition is woefully lacking and mired in suspicion and pseudo-religious dogma that would make a Turk balk for its strictures. Indeed, they seemed impressed with my studies and the eloquence with which I was able to present them. Apparently, the typical sufferer of my particular strain of vampirism is far from the vanguard of the king's English. So impressed were they that they even offered me an what? office in their government, a rather high office by the sound of things. I believe I shall accept. If nothing else, it should provide a lofty vantage point from which to observe the breadth and epidemiology of the affliction so that I may move more expeditiously toward a cure. A cure? Wait, but this is the last room. I'm assuming, is this maybe like... No? Wait. In the mirror there's still two of them crying. Oh! Oh! I think I get it. These aren't mirrors. These aren't mirrors. Oh. I thought I had it. Oh. There we go. I didn't even notice that one. Yeah, whoever is the person who owned this house or owns this house is uh, rather crazy. Is that an important book? There we go. A secret room somewhere. I have accepted the role of Primogen for Clan Malkavian, the dreadfully winsome label applied to the particular strain of vampirism I suffer. So named for some supposed vampire father figure of old. More poppycock grown from a backward culture that seems interminably drawn to children's tales and the fiction of Victorian romance when it should concern itself with the science behind their suffering. No matter, for I have taken this office for no greater reason than to advance my research. I must make mention, however, that even among my would-be peers in this governing body of vampires, the level of paranoia and superstition is frightening. Their intelligence is not the question, no, oh, indeed. As they courted me for this appointment, I had to suspect that their overtures were hand-tailored to what must be my obvious infatuation with reason, for the devil would do well to have such honey-tongued tempters. Even so, I could not help but notice what? the dressing of language these vampire leaders chose for their siren song. Whether it is born of habit, from addressing their unwashed, ill-educated subjects, or from their own deep-seated beliefs, their linguistic flourishes belie a faith in superstition over the providence of empirical reason that must be an all-pervasive theme in this society of darkest night. Damn it all, now I'm doing it too. And into the... What looks like is a sanctum of sorts. 